Did we lose you guys? We think we lost you guys. We saw the video freeze. I'm not sure what happened, but um, hi, welcome back. We're back. <laughs> We're going to be talking about love in action. Did we lose you? We're so sorry. It's the internet. I think we're getting ready to have bad weather. Yeah, it, it happens. It's electronic, so just bear with us. Okay. Um, but we're talking about love in action, and we just want to make sure that our words are lining up with what we're doing, that you're actually putting in effort to show that you love each other um, versus just saying it. We uh, started out by saying that, you know, we throw that around so loosely, I love you. But um, it's really in a person's actions. That's how you're really able to tell Absolutely. what's going on. So um, we were talking about hearing versus listening. And there is a difference. But sometimes um, your spouse can hint by what they're saying that they need your support or that they need something from you. Right. And it's up to you to be able to listen. Absolutely. Absolutely. What we're talking about is really just being in tune and and that your love be at such a high level that you're just so in tune where when your spouse is saying something, it can be indirectly. But because I'm in tune with you, yeah. if you're saying, well, baby, I really need to start working out. You know, I got to go. I want to lose some weight or what have you. Um, you shouldn't have to beg me. Baby, can you go and run with me? Can you go and work out with me? I should be. So, so in love with you and so in tune with what you need that just by you saying that, I know that it's time for me to step in action. I mean, my job as your partner is to support you, to love you, to care for you, to nurture yes. um, you physically, emotionally, spiritually, yeah. every way possible that I see fit that I can help you. Yeah. So what we're talking about is, you know, that level of just being in tune where you're listening to what your partner's saying and you literally can just pick up little hints and know that it's time to move into action. Okay. Not just sit back and know that there's a need or there's a want, but because you love your partner, you are so in tune. When you see that there's a need, right. you hop right on into place. Right. I remember always, um, you know, when I was younger, when we were newly married, I wanted to be superwoman, do everything, clean the house, you know, go to the grocery store, take care of the kids, work all that but as we've gotten older and i'm getting tired sometimes i'm like i would say you know going to the grocery store Ugh, i don't want to go to the grocery store and immediately you would be like i'll go with you mm -hmm. because you know that doing things with you makes it you know fun for me right. it doesn't feel like a chore but by you that's showing me that you love me you can say all day i love you but when you take um <clears throat> The time to hear what I'm saying mm -hmm. and then respond in that loving way that it shows me that you really care about me. Mm -hmm. Your actions are meeting what you're saying. You're not just saying that, but you're actually showing me. And it goes a long way, and I think it makes us closer. Well, I, I you know, I kind of pat myself on the back. I pride myself as being somewhat wise. Um, you know, I've, I've, I have a very wise grandfather who's been in my life my whole life who's, I mean, giving me you know, just nuggets of, of wisdom throughout my lifetime. But one of the things that I've learned a long time ago is that, you know, a happy wife, happy life. So yeah. by me sewing into you, by me being there to support you, and I, I receive that back because what you reap is what you, what you sow is what you reap. So yeah. I've learned that, you know, if I make your life better, ultimately my life is going to be better. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Those are examples of supporting Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say that love covers a multitude of faults. So when you tell somebody that you love them, your actions should show you love them by just covering, by just pulling back. We were talking about earlier about don't sweat the small stuff. Mm -hmm. So many is the little foxes that destroy well, the vine. That's right. The little things that, that nitpicking at each other as couples or as friends or as siblings, it's, you know, I think that we should pull back and not, um, don't magnify the other person's faults. Right. right. Okay. Right. Love should make you, you know, respect them mm -hmm. and um, see things from their point of view. No one is perfect. We all have faults. Right. 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 When you point one finger at somebody, you have. 
four more pointing back at you. Right. And so, um, just don't sweat the small stuff. Love covers a multitude of faults. What is this? Um, what is that scripture, babe? First Corinthians thirteen and four. What does it say? First uh, Corinthians thirteen four. It basically just through deals eight, with it's four right, through eight. Well, four through eight. It deals basically. It breaks down what love is, and so. Um, so that's the scripture. What you got to say about it? Just love is patient. Mm -hmm. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Mm -hmm. Love does not boast. Love is not proud. Mm -hmm. Love is not rude. Right. Love is not self-seeking. Mm -hmm. Love is not easily angered. Love keeps no records of wrongs. I like that one. You like that, like that one? Love does not delight in evil, mm -hmm. but it rejoices in truth. Love always protects. And that's what we were just talking about. Love covers. It always protects. Love always trusts. Mm -hmm. Love always hopes. We are prisoners of hope. And I say that all the time. You have to hope. You have to have faith. Love always perseveres. And love never fails. With love, you always win. Always win. So love should cover. You can't tell somebody that you love them, but you're not compelled to protect them, mm -hmm. to honor them, mm -hmm. to honor their feelings. You know what I'm saying? To put them first, sometimes even before your own. Absolutely, absolutely. Amen. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, um, it's, and, and that's why I'm saying it's just so important that you really do love because, like I said, there's, there's, there's different levels. And, you know, the hearing thing is fine, like I say, my my goal as your husband is to make you happy, is to make you proud, to make your life mm -hmm. easier, to make you uh, be fulfilled um, as your life partner. And so to have that real love to grow and just being in tune with you, to be able to pick up the little subtle hints or just for you to say that you need something and then I hop into action, um, to be able to... Um, hear you say something, to be able to see that you need something. You don't even have to always say something to me, but if I just see that you need something, yeah. I can see that, okay, you've been working, you know, you've been diligent going to the gym, working out or whatever, and I see, okay, my baby needs some more running shoes, right. and I can see that. Right. It's, I'm going to, here again, hop into action, right. and I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure you're taken care of. Yeah. And ultimately... I want to grow to the highest level of being in tune with you, with, which is really just knowing. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to say anything. I, you know, I I know you so well that, you know what, I just know what she needs. Amen. And so I don't have to be told. I don't have to be